Howdy, Aaron Moster here at the Ohio Health MS Center. Many people ask me, as a parent, I'm concerned. If I'm diagnosed with MS, what's the chance that my child could develop MS? That's a very appropriate question. If you have multiple sclerosis, your first degree relatives, meaning your parents, your siblings, and your children, have between a one and a three percent chance of developing MS. Now, that's not a very large uh, chance, but it's way higher than the general population, which in my area of the world is about one in 700. Now, we believe that there are a few things that could alter a given child's risk. So for someone with MS, these are certainly things that they might want to consider uh, in their own child. The first one is morbid obesity has been shown to be a risk factor for developing MS. And so we want to make sure that our children are not. Number two, Tobacco exposure, including secondhand smoke, is thought to increase an individual's risk. And so most certainly, the children of people with multiple sclerosis would want to avoid tobacco smoke for that reason, amongst all the others. And lastly, it appears that low levels of vitamin D pre-puberty uh, play a role in increasing the risk to develop MS. Now, whereas I'm not going to recommend uh, vitamin D supplementation for my patient's children, they can certainly talk to their own pediatricians about possible supplementation of vitamin D3. There you have it.